Have you ever wanted more pleasure in your life? You're in the right space. Hey, it's Rachel. I've been an intimacy coach for 10 years. That's inspired me to this extended series all year long where we're talking about ways to incorporate pleasure into your everyday life for yourself, but also a partnered relationship if you're interested. This month, we are talking about content. So no product needed to envelop these ideas around sex and intimacy, I guess. All right. So today, what I want to talk about is understanding your sexual expectation really your sexual identity, okay? So if you are new or you like a lot of words around sexual identity and gender and all those things might be confusing or overwhelming or whatever, here's what you need to know about your sexual orientation, your sexual identity, okay? It's who you choose to be attracted to. Now, when I was younger, this was actually a controversial thing to say that people choose to be gay because it insinuates that I would choose a path for myself where I would be an outcast or a potential minority or definitely somebody that is more exposed to the potential of danger, for sure. That's for sure. Why would I choose this for myself? Now, you do. You do in a sense, right? Because if you really wanted to choose to, let's say, be heterosexual, right? Then you would be forcing yourself to do something you didn't want to do, but you're still making a choice around it. So here's why I want to say this. I heard a TikTok a long time ago, and oh, I loved it because it basically was this person saying, Not long from now, we won't have any type of sexual identity. We won't be heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, pansexual. We won't be any of those things. We will just have sex with who we want to have sex. And I was like, (gasps) life-changing revelation for me. Life-changing. And it seems pretty simplistic, but the reason it hit home for me is because I always talk about with my clients and at my parties and home party experiences that we, number one, don't yuck anybody else's yum. Because honestly, if you are of age and you're consenting and it feels good, What is it, any business of mine, what you do behind closed doors? Get on it. Explore all your pleasure nooks and crannies. Get it done, okay? Why would you not encourage somebody to want to literally feel as good as they could feel, right? So when you understand what your attraction to any human being is, that's your sexual identity and preference. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's not circumstantial per se that you can switch from being attracted to a man to a woman, but you might find that you attract to an energy that feels masculine, a tough type of person, somebody that gets it done, that wants to be the provider, that maybe likes to fix stuff around the house, right? Or maybe you find yourself that is that you're attracted to somebody who comes off as what we describe as feminine, somebody who's soft and soft and soft and whatever, okay? But the truth of it is that maybe that you like a mix of this or you like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Why can't you find that in somebody that has a vulva or a penis? Why does it matter? It's about energy when you really get to the heart of it. That's what you're attracted to. What's going to make you feel safe? And what's going to make you feel curious? And what's going to make you feel like you want to go to the next level? Man, I wish I could talk forever about this, but I'm at the three-minute mark, so I got to go. Peace out, sauerkraut. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.